Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we'll be talking about the when on orandas and other fancy goldfish. So if you're not familiar with this kind of structural deformity, what it is is essentially a little uh, epithelial jello blob on top of your fish's head. Not all fancy goldfish have this, not all orandas have this, and essentially what it is is it's a type of tumor, essentially a benign tumor, that has changed how the epithelial cells uh, in the skin just on top of the head react. Now, sometimes it'll come down over the cheeks, sometimes it'll come down over the eyes, over the operculum, and sometimes even so much over the mouth. And sometimes when this happens, essentially what your fish just can't swim anymore, it's going to flip upside down, get stuck on the bottom because its head is just too heavy. Now, a lot of the times owners will ask, oh, well, can I just go ahead and, and trim that myself? Which we really never, never, ever recommend. Um, certainly, if you're going to be doing this procedure safely, your fish has to be anesthetized. So they're not going to wiggle when your scissors or your scalpel or whatever you think you're going to use gets too close to their eyes, their mouth, their gills. Now, when we do this, obviously our patients are anesthetized with a medication called MS222, also known as tricane methane sulfonate. Um, it's been used in fish aquaculture for decades. It's very safe, it's very reversible, and it works really well to kind of get fish in a position where I'm able to manipulate them and, you know, do this trimming where they're not going to react to it. Now, the second part is depending on how severe that growth is, it might require some pretty extensive trimming. Um, especially if it's kind of grown back here behind the head. Um, sometimes we're just going to take a scalpel and cut through about an inch of essentially just crunchy jello epithelial cells. Now, if you're not familiar with fish anatomy, you could be making some serious cuts and really hurting your fish. So please do not attempt to do any wind trimming at home. Leave it to a professional and your fish will thank you. I know it looks really easy, but it's a lot harder than it looks. So make sure that it is done safely by your local aquatic veterinarian. So thank you very much for watching this video today. We hope you learned something and we'll be taking better care of your fish because of it. If you have any questions, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.